Hello YouTube, this one. I know it's been a while since I've made a video. Sorry for the delay, but I got some new things to share with you, so I hope you enjoy. And to answer your question, People keep asking if I'm back, and I haven't really had an answer. But now, yeah, I'm thinking I'm back. To celebrate our 12th wedding anniversary, Keele and I decided to take a trip to Alaska. It was a trip of a lifetime. Very much enjoyed it. I recommend it for anyone who wants to try something different and new. It's time for takeoff. Let's go. We've arrived in Seaward, Alaska, ready to board our ship, the Norwegian Jewel. It's a beautiful ship. The room was fantastic. I'm ready to get things started. Lane one, happy anniversary. We're honored that you're cruising with us on a special day. We hope you have an incredible experience. If there's anything we can do to make your anniversary even more memorable, please let us know. Sincerely, the Norwegian Cruise Line. Please enjoy a complimentary cake from us. Okay. Cool. View from the room. Hey y'all, in Alaska, at our first glacier. Getting off the ship, going into town, Juneau, Alaska. Hey, Keele. Hey, we about to go do some helicopter rides. Dog sledding. Dog sledding. Go to a glacier. Go to a glacier, yep. All that. A waterfall. Waterfall. Look at that. Look at that view. The clouds look bad, but it's okay. It's not, it's not really bad. It's chilly, but it ain't cold, cold. It's different. Waiting for a shuttle to town. They said it's like a five minute ride to town, but it's a 30 minute wait to get on the shuttle. Or you can take the 20 minute walk <laughs> to town. So that's what we're doing. We're bringing the hood to the wilderness. That's what we're doing. So as you can see, the weather was a little cloudy and hazy. So we had some issues where they had to cancel our excursion. So no helicopter ride, no landing on the glacier, no dog sledding, but safety first. I'd rather be on the ground and wet than up in the sky and in danger. We'll just have to come back another time and do it all over again.
right, so bad news, good news. Bad news is the helicopter ride was canceled due to cloudy weather and they can't fly in it. So there's no glacier landing, no dog sledding, uh, no helicopter ride. But we made a new excursion. So now we're going whale watching, which I missed out on a couple days ago because I wasn't feeling well. So that's what we're going to do now getting our instructions and we're about to get on the boat. This was some of the freshest seafood crab legs I've ever had. It just tastes totally different. It was just probably hours away from being caught. It's amazing. Pants, waterproof shoes, but standing in the water, and it is ice, ice cold. Hey, waterproof pants. Okay, sir. Got another bald eagle, Captain. So that whale that we were trying to track should be off our right side here, but uh, there are usually numerous whales in the area, so keep your eyes behind us. Alright, so we got some sea lions. Ooh, we 
out here. Just chilling. Ain't doing nothing. Just hanging out. Ain't causing no problem. Headed back to the ship. It started raining as soon as we docked. It cleared up again, but we got lucky that the weather was clear while we were out on the water. Headed back to the ship now to go change clothes, sit down for a minute, eat, have a drink, and uh, figure out what's next. See you in a minute. Breakfast, and this is what we see every morning. <laughs> every morning it makes me smile coming in here. <laughs> All right, everybody, we have arrived in Ketchikan, still in Alaska, and we are going on our get on the shuttle, head to town, do some shopping. And then we got a tour later on today. We're gonna see some bears and some salmon and whatever other wildlife we can find, some elk, moose, all that good stuff. Stay tuned. We got action.
Here's your eagle. Here's your eagle. Here's Our smaller birds get easy and the cigna gets that large piece. Once they're in there, all that quickly gets taken off as well. So if they want to, they can move around fly as they wish. Um, for why I've seen these guys are fairly lazy for the most part. They have their favorite perches that they like to sit on and just kind of show up. Yes, sir. What keeps them from wanting to get at each other? Good question. Um, in the wild, these guys won't really interact with each other too much. Um, all these birds hunt different things at different points of the day. Um, so because of that, they don't really care for each other. Um, I like to think they're like roommates who just don't talk. They just kind of pass each other through the hallways back to their rooms every once in a while. Uh, so that just keeps them at bay for each other for the most part. They don't really care. Any other questions, Phil? So that could be something she takes with her while she sees something out there. Um, and that's a territory. So she's like whatever bird out there knows that this is her thing. And they come to her and she comes to her. Yeah, bird fighting. It's a real size of an eagle's nest. Let me hear you whisper that you 
know me I got to do things a little different so we're not gonna get on the bus tour we're gonna take our own self-guided tour we're gonna get on this nice little Jeep gladiator right here and do it ourselves be on our own time she ain't happy for it we gonna do it <laughs> I'm saying she, she nervous downtown kind of main street kind of thing the backdrop is gorgeous just wake up every day and see that right behind you so close you think you can walk to it but you, you can walk to it it might take you a long time but yeah that's beautiful Look at your wife. Look at my wife over there. She was scared to take the seat, but she's gonna walk him down to the waterfall. Look at him up. While doing our Jeep tour, we crossed over into Canada briefly, so that was fun. The views was just as spectacular there as it was in Alaska. Headed back. Alright everybody, so we are back from our adventures, came to get something to eat, we got some salmon, some shrimp, <laughs> and some halibut, fried halibut, so fish and chips basically with the salmon, it's coleslaw, and I got a good date here with me, and she's ready to eat, let's get to it. <laughs> Look at the color of that salmon, that is absolutely beautiful doesn't come that color at home so that lets you know that they got the real deal here Tracy's King Crab Shack We're gonna try to get our crabs in early it's already in line because these cruise ships docked right on the pier downtown and we have to walk almost two miles <laughs> Hello. 
lang yan lang. Hindi ka pwede. Lopit eh. Dipin into the butter for you. Thursday. Today Thursday. No, today Friday. Today's Friday. I don't forgot what day we get it. That's a good thing. Today is Friday. We are in Skagway, Alaska. Getting off the ship. We about to go have some breakfast in town. Cause why not? No need to eat that cruise ship food when we are in Alaska. And this time we don't have to walk or catch a bus to town. So we gonna we don't have to walk far. So this time we're gonna go ahead and eat here and enjoy our day getting an early start. Stay tuned. Hey family, on our way back, we got a full day at sea today. We are now officially in Canada. I'm not sure exactly where right now, but we will be docking in Vancouver, Canada tomorrow morning. Had a great trip, a couple small minor setbacks, but nothing that makes me regret it. Uh, we will have to come back to make up for some excursions we didn't get to do. But uh, all in all, it was a fantastic trip. The weather was phenomenal. They keep saying we brought the sunshine because just last week it was just raining all the time. So we got lucky. So going to go try to win some money, win a free cruise from a raffle, won a few dollars on the, the roulette wheel. So I'm happy. We'll be seeing you guys soon. Stay tuned. All right, guys, we have landed in Vancouver, Canada. We are leaving the ship. Our flight is not till later on this evening, so we're gonna to try to find something to do in town, hopefully. It was a great trip. Had a great time. Thank you so much. And we are in line to get off. We are at the port of Vancouver. weather is beautiful stop to have something to eat in this little cafe but you know we got to do it big <laughs> sharing a meal save money really? so we got some uh, bread and oil 
with olive oil and balsamic olive vinegar. Olive oil, balsamic vinegar. Mm -hmm. Nah, not for me. I eat the bread. The bread is fantastic. It's delicious. She thinks it's delicious. <laughs> so we're waiting on our food. Trying to map out the day. We're going to head down towards the waterfront and uh, see what we can see. So, like I said, we're just taking the day as it goes. Stay tuned. All right, so we got some fish and chips. And of course, we had to share that plate. See how big that is. That's the one that split up. But it's good. Yep. At our little French bistro, you know, doing our, our bougie thing. You know, you got to put the pinky up when you eat. You got to put the pinky up. <laughs> All right, so we... Just walked about 20 minutes to get down here to that boardwalk. Granville, Granville Island. Island Public Market. So I think we gotta get a shuttle over there. I don't know. I don't see a way to walk over there. And that's what it looks like. If not, we're gonna have to pay to ride the shuttle to get over there. Yeah. So Guess we didn't came this far. We don't have no choice. Let's make it, man. So this is the ferry. Take us over to uh, where the market is. Granville Island. And we ate too soon, because this is where we should have came to eat. We was trying to find something to eat downtown and couldn't find anything interesting, so we just ate something. And if we'd have just waited a little while longer, we would have found out that this is where all the happenings is, where all the drinks and the foods and the sightseeing stuff is. So, might find some sweets or something. You know I need my sweets, my cookies and cakes. Back to the airport, getting on the subway. So we had a slight issue with our flight coming back home. Due to some weather issues, the flight was delayed, then canceled, then back on again, then canceled, then delayed. So finally, the airline put us up in a hotel in San Francisco paid for the uber trip there and back gave us sixty dollars in food credit so we're going to catch a flight out first thing in the morning non-stop to dc and they gave us all those extras for the trouble all right we're in the hotel checked in and you know me being nosy i'm like what's that wheel over there how did we, who we win did you have your, uh, what is this? Hilton Honors. Hilton Honors. And guess who got Hilton Honors? Woo-hoo! Standing all them sweets I think. Oh, oh, wait a minute now. For my job. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. my God. So, spun the wheel. We got free stuff from the gift shop. Ice cream, baby. Snickers. Twix. About to lay in here, eat some food, and go to sleep, and wake up in a couple hours, and go back to the airport. Not working. Is this the right room? Okay. Try the other. Okay. Well, no problem, big fella. Do. 
we only have Booker left. Yep. Alright. About to eat. Peace. Alright, y'all. It's 6 o'clock in the morning, San Francisco time. We are on our way back to the airport. We finally catch this flight home. Of course, you know, we're a few hours behind uh, DC. So. Be home as soon as possible and uh, ready to lay down in my own bed. Stay tuned. Quick update, getting off the plane yesterday, rushing to get my bags, left my tablet in the front seat pocket. I want to thank the good folks at United for finding it and taking it to Lost and Found. Got up early this morning, came down here, here it was on the counter. I'm happy.